Look, Kent, I'm going to see what's wrong with him. I think it's dehydration, sir. That's all we need. Okay, get back to work. I'll give him some water up with canteen. Russia, get back to work. Nasty business. You, get Troy out of my sight over to the infirmary. Get his wound patched up, and when you're finished, get Battister and the other one over to the morgue. I've got to get Kelly back, deputy. You've got to track him down, and you've got to take him back here alive. And with a bit of luck, we're going to have ourselves a hanging shortly. A double hanging. Yes, sir. Chances are he'll be heading along the marshes through the creek. He'll know that we've got the trails covered with patrols. I doubt he'd be stupid enough at this time of year to head across the mountains. Just get him, deputy. I want that murdering son of a bitch to hang. Yes, sir. You can count on me. Chance, Kelly. Drop the gun to reach for the sky. I will shoot you if I need to. Okay, now come over here and put these chains on. You're right, sure, that did. Morning, ladies. 
friendly town, that's hot. Marshal! Marshal, wake up! Hey, what? Ugh. Where's fire? I'm a U.S. deputy, Marshal. And I need your help tracking down an escaped prisoner going by the name of Kelly. Trail him here to your town. You sure about that, deputy? Why? Any outlaw worth his salt, I know better than any enter my town. I'm definitely follow this trail here, sir. Well, let me think for a minute. I'm certain he's here or hereabouts. Maybe you're headed down at Clearwater. He's tall, real mean looking, and will be wounded in his arm. Well, you could be right. How far is Clearwater? Continue along the river. Will it take me there? Yes, Deputy, it will. Just you follow the river downstream, you'll get to clear water soon enough. Thanks, Marshal. By the way, did you have a spare gun? I must have lost mine down by the river in the fight. Sure thing, Deputy. Thanks, Marshal. I'm mighty obliged. Reach for the sky, Lowman, and turn around real slow. Take his guns, Macy. Why didn't you have the sense to give up out there in a swamp where I got the better of you? And why do you just kill me when you have the chance, Kelly? Despite what you might have heard, I ain't a cold-blooded murderer. I believe in giving a man a fair chance, even a lawman. And anyways, I thought you were already dead back there in the creek. So you believe in giving a man a fair chance, huh? That ain't what I heard. Well, y'all see soon enough. Ah, oh, just let me plug him, boss. Right here, right now. No, wait, Macy. He might be more useful to us alive than dead. Take him up to the jail and make sure Clem locks him up. Get off me, get off me. Pick him up. Get off me! Get off me! Now get him out of my face! <laughs> you needed that bath, Kelly, and not before it's You can wipe that stupid grin off your face too, Madam Kitty. Get back inside and get me a whiskey. Man, some of you know that I sent a telegraph up to the prison warden offering to exchange that shiny star up there for Troy. I sent it from Clearwater so they couldn't trace it back to us here in Tranquility. Have they agreed to the trade, boss? It was two days ago, and so far they still haven't replied. Well, what are we going to do the lawman now then? Well, while we wait for a reply, I figured we might have ourselves some fun. Macy, Clem, go fetch your deputy and bring back that ball whip you're always looking to use. Decided to sentence a lawman to a whipping. Boss, who gets to do the whipping? Usual rules apply. We'll cut a deck of cards, pass cover wins. Lawman, you've earned yourself ten lashes. And that's just for wearing that shiny star and making me look stupid in front of my boys. Tomorrow, if we don't hear anything from the prison warden, you're gonna get another draw and another ten lashes as a further reward. And another ten each day after until they release Troy. You know the drill. One at a time. Gus, you start. Nine of spades. Jake, five of diamonds. Your turn, Nelson. Eight of hearts. Wake up, Clem. Your go. Jack of clubs. Ace is high. Looks like I get to have some fun with you, deputy. Not so fast, Macy. It's my turn. Close, Macy. Not close enough. It's the Joker that wins this game. Right? Strip him to his waist, boys, and rope him tight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Now it's fine, Kitty. It's just a bruise. It's nothing that this stuff will mend. And a little time with you, of course. You mean three tens? Didn't think so. Hold it. What? I've noticed you boys been niggling each other quite some time now. But it's a fight you want, it's a fight you can have, but outside. You don't want to be messing up Kitty's saloon now, do we? Lesson. We can't afford to be kidding each other. It's too much work to be done. Let's go back inside, get a drink, and cool off. Somebody wake Gus up. I got some unfinished business with Kitty. Boss, boss. They're planning to hang Troy on Thursday at noon. That only gives us three days to break him out. Are all you boys still with me? Sure are, boss. We're with you. Boss, you got me this bit here. It says here that the hangman's coming down from sea to city to do the dirty work. That means he's likely to pass through tranquility. Now just suppose he doesn't need tranquility, and one of us takes his place. And I think I know just the man that can do it too. Lonesome day. Okay, I better look out my black clothes then, so I really look the part. The hanging's gonna take place a mile west, down by the prison, down by the old hanging tree. The hanging's gonna be public. And that's where we'll be waiting to ambush him. <laughs> what about the deputy, Kelly? He's no use to us now. You're right, Clem. You and Macy, go fetch the deputy. But don't tell him anything about this. The less he knows, the better. <laughs> okay, little man, here's the plan. You and me, we're gonna have ourselves a little spot. A duel. If you can outshoot me, I'll give my word of honor, my boys here will set you free. How do I know I can trust you or your men? You don't. But what have you got to lose? Clem, load and host of the deputy's gun. See, deputy? It's your own eye. I can't be more fair than that. Macy, free his hands. Everybody stand clear, and remember, it's between me and the lawman. The rest of you, keep out of it. Clem, toss coin in the air. Once it hits the dirt, you and me, we're gonna draw and fire. You clear on that? We want you saying I wasn't being fair. You might not wanna watch this, Kitty. Why don't you go back inside and line up the drinks for the boys?
Choice, Stephanie. <laughs> Why don't you just stay dead back at the creek? Okay, boys. Let's leave him for the buzzards. We got bigger fish to fry. Come on, let's get ready for our hanging. Chief reporter of the Silver City Press and Journal. Chief reporter, my ass. Only reporter, more like. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kincaid, have you any last words for our readers back in Silver City? Talking to the prisoner is not allowed, Mr. Butterfield. Now step aside or else I'll have you arrested. Hey, you. Where's the usual hangman? He's down with a fever, sir. They asked me to step in. Mr. Kincaid, do you want me to place a hood over your head? Keep your hood, mister. I ain't afraid of facing death. Troy Kincaid? For attempted armed escape from prison, during which two guards were slain, you have been sentenced to be hanged by the neck until dead. Do you have anything to say for yourself, Troy Kincaid, before the sentence is carried out? I'll see you in hell soon enough. May God have mercy on your soul. done for, Kelly. I know it's only a flesh wound, but I can't go no further. I think they've given up for the time being, Troy. They're probably waiting on more horses and men. I'll go look for a clear spot so we can rest up for a while.
of slow and easy, the both of you. No sudden moves. Otherwise, Kelly gets a hole in his head. You could drive a wagon through. Keep your hand away from that gun. On your feet, slow. They tell me you're a real slippery customer, Kelly. That was pure evil what you've done to that deputy. It's a fair fight, Marshal. You're going to regret that. Shut up, Kelly, and put those on. It's a long walk back to the prison, boys. Get going. Oh. I've had it, Marshal. I can't go any further today. Oh. OK, we'll stop here a while. Kelly, you get some dry wood for a fire. Don't do anything stupid, or I'll plug you full of holes. If you get yourself over to that tree and I'll have a look at your wound. Looks like the bullet went clean through. All we've got to do is keep it clean and free of infection and you'll be okay. What's the point? They're going to hang me anyway. Make it easy on yourself, Marshal, and just shoot me here and now. Then you'll only have Kelly to watch. Take his gun, Troy. Keep him covered. Shoot him in a few minutes. Did you see where I put the keys for these chains? I'm sure it's in one of his pockets. Be quick about it. I think I heard voices in the distance. Come on, Troy. Let's head back to Tranquility. I'm done for, Kelly. I don't want to slow you down. Take this gun, and I'll finish off the marshal here. Gunshots might be heard and draw attention to us. I'm not leaving you, Troy. We've been for a whole lot together. I ain't deserting you now. Oh, shut up. You'll have me in tears. Look, I'm done for. I know it. And you know it. Better one of us escapes for good than both of us dying out here. Now take them and go. The boys with me will be back for you. I promise. Now get going. You're burning daylight. You okay, Marshal? Who said Troy's a gun? Count hell, he must have pulled me off guard. Where, where is Kelly? I had him too. There was only you and Troy here when I arrived. Judging by a stench, he's been dead a fair while. I need to get after him before darkness falls and I lose him completely. You tidy up here and I'll get after him. You give me one of your guns. Here you go, Marshal. You'll have a better chance of picking him off with this. You follow me from a distance after you've cleared up.
This one's from my kid cousin. <laughs>